Hey everyone, Bobby here with TabletCrunch.com. Um, just confirmed a few minutes ago a fix for the iOS 6 Wi-Fi connectivity problem. Uh, I don't want to get into all the technical details. Um, I want to thank very quickly Brian Young with Living Hope Baptist Church in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, he has 28 wireless routers across their campus. 18 iOS 6 users that come on the campus every day. Um, he tracks this at the, at the data packet level and they've been having these problems. He identified the fix. He implemented it this morning. All 18 iOS 6 devices came on the campus and, and connected perfectly. So here it is. It's really simple. The problem is actually not with your device. It's not with your iPhone. It's not with your iPad. It's with your wireless router, which we kind of alluded to that on Tablet Crunch um, a, a little bit. So, so here's what you need to do. You need to upgrade the firmware of your wireless router to any release that was, that was released from the manufacturer of the router within the last 10 months. Okay? If you have a Cisco wireless router, then you should be able to just log into the wireless router and there should be a button to upgrade it automatically. If you don't, if you have a D-Link or a Linksys or something, what you're going to need to do first is get the serial number, maybe look on the bottom side um, of the wireless router, get the serial number, and then go to that manufacturer's website because the serial number, they're going to confirm first that you actually own it, um, own that, that wireless router. You'll enter the serial number, whatever you need to do, then you just download their latest update. And again, if you, if you download an update for your wireless router and it's within the last 10 months, then your wireless router is going to now be capable of connecting all of your iPhone and iPad devices, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, iPad 2 and 3. Um, so that's the fix for right now. I'll shoot another video um, for people who are interested with a more in-depth technical explanation. You can also go to tabletcrunch.com um, where I'll talk more about the details of this. But just to keep it real simple, you've got to update your wireless router to the latest firmware that's available. And once you do, all of your iPhone 5, iPhone 4, any, any device that you have that's running iOS 6 should connect instantly to your wireless network. So go ahead and do it. Let me know um, if you need any help in the comments. And again, it's just simply updating your wireless router to the latest firmware and that should solve your problems. Let me know. Thanks.